Welcome back to the Christmas Calendar GRTV show. Um, today is an extra, extra special show. Feels like deja vu all over again, right? It really does, man. I feel like I've been Everything here before. Everything special. Mm. Yes, anyway, but today we are looking at... We're looking at the best trailers of 2012. Uh, really, we've taken the time to select our top five. Uh, obviously, it's a very subjective selection. A lot of arguments, a lot of fights. No bribes allowed, nothing like that, I hope. But uh, here's Emily with the, our top five. That was a brief look at some of the trailers that came close to making a top 5 of 2012's best trailers. Close but no cigar. At number 5 we've got some major Hollywood talent as Microsoft contracted David Fincher to create a dark and memorable trailer for Halo 4. Moving on to number 4, we find one of 2013's most anticipated titles. And this trailer made the wait just a little more excruciating. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. That was the deal. The details elude me now. But the details wouldn't change a goddamn thing. And now for something completely different. This comedic take on a trailer from the team behind Mad Riders had some of us rolling on the floor. This is a bit generic, isn't it? Can't you do something more clever? Well, I have one idea. No, 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 not that again. I quite liked it. <sighs> Show me something else.
we find a bit of royal flair at number two, as we revisit our first glimpse of Ubisoft's Wii U launch title, Zombie U. God save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen, God save the queen, send her victorious, happy and glorious, long And finally at number one, perhaps it comes as no surprise, as Naughty Dog have excelled as some of the best storytellers in the industry. This trailer is quiet and subdued, yet speaks volumes. What if it's true? Do I need to remind you what is out there? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that sort of shit's good for one thing. Getting you killed. I need something smuggled out of the city. It's just cargo, Joel. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. It can't be any worse than in here. Can it? We're shitty people, Joel. It's been that way for a long time. No, we are survivors. This is our chance. It is over, Tess! What are you so afraid of? You're treading on some mighty thin ice here. What do we do? You make every shot count. You see, I believe everything happens for a reason. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? After all we've been through, everything that I've done, it can't be for nothing. That's it. That's our top five uh, satisfied. Holy satisfied, sir. Holy. I believe you had something to do with at least one of the entries in that list. Could have been? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think I think it's interesting to see just how much effort is being put into trailers these days. Hollywood talent directing, and you know, there's 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 really a ton of effort that goes into them, and and sometimes we even get to see actual gameplay footage, you know, somewhere in there. Yeah. Brief, one or two seconds, just. Yeah. 
if but you look hard enough. No, I think, I think we're doing a slight disservice though. I mean, mm. one of the wonderful things I found over the last few years is you're seeing more and more actual gameplay being yeah. used in cinematics and that's a really huge improvement with the visual side mm. of things, uh, this generation, and it's always wonderful for, to see on the big screen. But um, that's pretty much us for today. All we've got left to do is show you today's indie darling and Emily's going to walk us through today's competition. So uh, my indie darling that uh, I want to recommend to you is a game called Gun Gods. Uh, it's made by Vlambeer, the same guys that made uh, Super Great Box. And uh, it's an um, old school um, first person shooter that uh, has really amazing uh, level design and uh, it will really appeal to you if you like the old kind of old school shooters. And uh, the only way to get it is to go to venuspatrol.com and uh, purchase a subscription. That was a trailer for Anomaly Warzone Earth. Today's question is, what is the name of the developer of that game? If you want a chance to win Anomaly Warzone Earth on Steam, you have to write us an email with the answer in the subject line at xmas at gamereactor.eu before 12 noon tomorrow, Central European time. Good luck. Mm -hmm.